Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about these beautiful new Le Rouge G Velvet lipsticks and cases from Guerlain. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As many of you know, I now have my online beauty consulting service, which is where you get the chance to talk to me one-on-one -on -one and kind of just pick my brain about any beauty concern you might have. Whether you wanna go over your current makeup collection, if you want advice shopping some new makeup, it's totally up to you. So to make the appointment, click the link in the description box down below. All right, so these brand new Le Rouge G luxurious velvet lipsticks plus their cases. I recently went shopping and I cannot wait to share these with you. All right, so I purchased my lipsticks here through Holt Renfrew. I spoke to Laurence, she's the counter manager for Guerlain here in Montreal. So if you want to get in touch with her, I will leave her contact information down below. If you wanna shop online, these are available through the Guerlain website and also through Sephora. So I will leave those affiliate links down below. Let's just go ahead and break down the collection talk about the claims, etc. So this is a fall release, a fall collection here, and we have these new lipstick shades and also lipstick cases. So the Rouge G refillable lipsticks have already existed. There are satin finishes and matte, and for this fall collection here, it's only matte colors that are new. You can still mix and match with what you want, but if you want a new shade, they only came Came out with this luxurious matte finish. So the refillable lipstick itself is 34 US plus tax and then the case is 37.50 plus tax. Let's talk about this luxurious velvet. It's described as the new ultimate matte lipstick with a velvet finish. Never has a matte lip color been so sensorial as Rouge G combines exceptional softness, depth, and long-lasting 16-hour wear. Its highly pigmented velvet formula glides effortlessly over the lips for absolute comfort. And again, they're claiming 16 hours of wear and comfort. The new sleek modern design of the lipstick offers precise, generous application with its rounded base that hugs the lip contours and its pointed tip that ensures a precisely drawn lip. The exclusive matte lipstick comes in 15 intense and deeply chic colors. So there are 15 new matte velvet colors to choose from. There are a lot. A lot of them are in the red family, but there are some more nudie ones as well. And you get to customize your lipstick. So you pick the lipstick shade and then the case. Now I picked up two of these Rouge G luxurious velvet lipsticks. I picked up number 880 Ruby Red and number 910 a black red. The second color is a bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought it could be a nice, deep, vampy color for fall, and the first shade is just a very classic red that is very flattering, and I love red lipstick. Now, these 15 new luxurious matte velvet lip colors, they are not limited edition. They're part of the new collection, so if something sells out, there will be a restock eventually. However, the cases, the Rouge G refillable cases here, the six new colors or new patterns are limited edition. And in my opinion, this is a run, don't walk situation. So the three colors that I got, I came very close to getting all six, but then I stopped myself because honestly, these cases are gorgeous. So the first one I got is a beautiful red graphic tartan and what's amazing about these cases is that the fabric is raised it's not flat it's not painted you actually get felt and fabric and material and you can actually feel the texture on these lipsticks here you can actually pass your nail or your finger across here and just feel the texture and it just adds an extra level of extra and luxury and it's just really really 
chef's kiss. The next case that I got is a French chevron pattern. This is just a very beautiful classic black and white. Again, you can feel the beautiful felt, beautiful fabric here. It's nice that it doesn't feel exactly like the metal. You really get a nice difference in texture and pattern and it's just absolutely stunning. And then the last one here I think is my personal favorite. This one is called Tweed in Paris. And I think it's something about the red and the pattern because the stitching here is just so impeccable. It's not just a flat piece of fabric, there's actually stitching in between. So you get, it looks like a cushion, it looks like the tweed that's used for Chanel, for the suits and for the chairs when you go to the boutiques. It just looks gorgeous and the red, to me, everything just screams fall and something about Europe. This one is called Tweed in Paris, but the tartan makes me think of the Scottish Highlands and just, ugh, this whole collection I think is wonderful. I dream of travel, I dream of being in Paris and visiting the Scottish Highlands. Again, one day I will be able to do so, but for the time being, I will have to uh, transport myself with makeup and fantasy. Now, there are six new cases to choose from, as I mentioned. There are different patterns and colors. There are two that are solid print. One is a solid red, one is a solid black that looks like a cushioned or embossed pattern. And then there's a last one here that's a houndstooth that is also really gorgeous. I came very close to getting the houndstooth as well, but then I didn't want to get too black and white, so I stuck with the chevron, but honestly, the houndstooth is absolutely gorgeous as well. I have to say that I went in person to the Holt Renfrew Guerlain counter, and the cases look better in person. Like, however nice you think that these look now as I'm talking to you, I promise you that when you see these in person, regardless of the one that you pick, it will look even better in person. I think we should just go ahead and try out these lipsticks, but I do have to say that I got a little engraving done on one of the lipsticks here. They had a calligrapher in store. How fancy is that? So I got my initials engraved on the bottom here in the mirror part. I don't know if they have the calligrapher there all the time, but she is there quite often and she has beautiful handwriting, clearly. So if you want to get something engraved, you can. I'm always at a loss when they ask me what I want engraved. I usually go with my initials or something because I'm not really certain what else to get, but we should just go ahead and try out the lipsticks here. I'm going to start off with number 880, the Ruby Red. That's just a very classic red and classic for fall. Let's just pop this open. It's just the definition of extra. It took me a while to get into Guerlain, but now that I'm here, I have fully drunk the Kool-Aid. These look like pieces of art. They look like they belong in a museum and I just love it, so. Let's go ahead and apply. The description said that this had a generous application, something to that extent. So yeah, generous application. To me, that translates into very opaque. So let's see if it actually is very opaque. This ruby red is just a beautiful classic red. I don't think it's too cool or too warm. It's sort of just like a neutral red. It's very beautiful, very flattering, makes your teeth look super white. And let's talk about the texture, also the smell. It does not smell like a vanilla cupcake. A lot of lipsticks that have a scent have this like default of a vanilla cupcake. The website says this is a sweet enveloping scent of vanilla floriental leaves its incomparable imprint on the rouge g. It's like very, very faint. You really have to stick your nose in it to smell. And when you're wearing it, you certainly do not notice it. So this is described as a velvet matte or luxurious velvet matte. I have to say that the 
velvet matte finish is extremely popular now. I think Lisa Eldridge may have popularized this a few years ago with her velvet extreme lipsticks and we've seen a lot of brands lean into the velvet matte finish. Now, this claims 16 hours of wear. I don't think it wears perfectly like this for 16 hours, but I can say that it does wear nicely. This is not a tattoo, it's a lipstick, it's a bullet lipstick. So with eating and drinking, it will fade away a little bit in the center, but you can wear this for several hours. You may wanna to touch up or add a chapstick or something to rehydrate, but the longevity is very nice. Like I said, it's not a tattoo, so it's not going to look perfect like this in 16 hours, but it does hold up nicely. It is mask resistant. It has more of a velvet finish, so it's not going to be slick or run around everywhere. When you first apply the lipstick, you can sort of see a little bit of a shine. It's a velvet matte finish, but because it's a bullet, it's not going to be the same matte as a liquid lipstick. So once the shine sort of fades away a little bit, it dries down a little bit more. So your mask wearing is a bit easier. I'm talking about people like me who may work from home and who wear a mask off and on to run errands and stuff like that. You're not going to look like the Joker, but you may see a little bit of transfer in the mask. I personally don't throw on a mask when my lipstick is fresh. I like to just let it sit and dry down a little bit. I find that you get a better result that way. As far as the comfort goes, this is a very comfortable lipstick. It's a matte, and I know some people may be thrown off and be a bit worried by the matte name, but a lot of these new velvet mattes are very, very comfortable. The texture on the lips feels like absolutely nothing. Sometimes matte lipsticks in a bullet format can be a bit heavy, a bit waxy. These ones don't really do that. They really just feel like not even powder, they feel like you have nothing on your lips. So do remember you have something on your lips, especially if you have something this bright, but it's really comfortable. Let me see if I have lipstick colors that might be comparable to this one here. I have my Lisa Eldridge in Velvet Ribbon. I am looking for lipsticks that have or claim to have the same sort of velvet matte texture. So I have the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon and then also one of the Givenchy Sheer Velvet Lipsticks. And this is in the shade number 36 L'Interdit, which is the Givenchy Classic Red. Now, a velvet ribbon is definitely more blue. It's more of that classic blue red. The Guerlain lip color is in the center. And you can see that these are definitely in the same color family. The finishes look different. The Lisa Eldridge one looks a bit more satiny and shiny in comparison. And the Givenchy Sheer Velvet looks more powdery and matte. I would say that the Guerlain Velvet is almost like a perfect in between between these two brands here it is definitely lighter i think that in comparison the lisa eldridge one on the lips is the heaviest one i know that it's a great lipstick and it doesn't feel that heavy but if i compare it to guerlain i find that the guerlain lipstick is lighter it doesn't feel as waxy it doesn't feel as heavy it really feels like nothing it's more close to the Givenchy lipstick in texture and wear I find that this Guerlain one truly feels like nothing it's super light it doesn't feel like anything at all but this Guerlain one is more saturated and opaque the one from Givenchy it's more of a sheer powder whereas this Guerlain one is more opaque okay let's move on to the second lip color I'm sort of sad to take this off because it's so pretty but we must move on all right, let's move on to number 910, a black red. It gives me a nice fall vampy vibe. This is a perfect dark, vampy, slightly chocolatey red color. If you like your super dark lipsticks, this one is here for you. Now with this super dark color, I found that I had to go over the lips just a little bit more to get a perfectly opaque color. It could just be because it's much darker than the first one. I think that's it. And 
As far as the wear, the comfort, etc., it's the exact same thing. It's funny that these are a velvet because I swear they feel just a little bit satiny when you first apply, but I think that's what makes it comfortable because you don't start off with just a super matte right away. It sort of starts off with a light, satiny, comfortable finish, and then as it dries down, it mattifies more. Now, I'm not certain if I have a perfect dupe for this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one with some shades I think it might be comparable. I have the Lisa Eldridge in Velvet Decade, which I think might be a little bit less berry, but it's still in the velvet dark vampy category. And then I have one of the Violet FR liquid lipsticks. This one is called Petal Bush. This shade here is like a crushed black red rose petal. So it might be kind of close to this, it might not. And then last but not least, I have a Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet in Rouge V. I'll put that at the bottom. I think Rouge V might be slightly closest to it. The colors that I have here, I don't have any perfect dupes, which is great for me, which means I don't have this color already in my collection. But I did choose these shades because I thought they might be slightly close to it or, or have some similarities. At least if you have any one of these lipsticks at home, you might be able to you know, do a comparison based off of what you have. None of these are perfect dupes. I think Rouge V is maybe the slight closest, but these are all like in the slightly dark, slightly vampy, slightly fall shades. I just remembered this intense rosewood from Chanel. I'm gonna swatch it on top here. This one, I don't know. It might be close, it might not. This is a dual-ended liquid lipstick, so it dries down and then you have a gloss on top. Again, not a perfect dupe, but in the family of these shades here. As it dries down a little bit more, it starts to look a little bit more like the Guerlain lipstick, but I think if you like these types of colors, you're going to like this number 910. So what else is there to say? I asked for extra luxurious packaging and Guerlain clearly understood the assignment. I have been waiting impatiently for a few weeks uh, for this launch here. This came out in other countries first, as it always does but I'm so happy that we finally got this in Canada. I was really worried that we would be skipped, but we were not, rest assured. And as I mentioned, these look even better in person. Like however nice you think that this looks right now on camera, I guarantee once you get it in person, it's even better. I love these. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're amazing. This is exactly what I want when it comes to luxury. I want this like weighty, heavy jewel with the different textures and patterns. Like give me extra, give me luxury. I have to say that initially I was more excited about the cases than the lipsticks. It didn't even dawn on me that there were new lipstick colors to choose from. I just thought lipstick cases, they just look gorgeous. All right, I think this is it for today's video. Sound off down below. What do you think of these cases? Which one here is your favorite? Do you like this tweed in Paris? Do you like this tartan plaid color? or do you like the French Chevron? Which one is your favorite and why? And let me know which cases are you buying because I know a lot of you are also a little fanatical just like me, so you probably picked up one or multiple of these new cases. If you're new to my channel or if you've been watching for some time but just haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Like, comment, subscribe. Those are all great ways to encourage me here on my channel. So I think on that note, that is all I have for you for today. But please remember that starting this Friday, the first Friday of every month, I will have a new episode of Beauty History for you. If you're not familiar with Beauty History, it's a series that I originated here on my channel last year. So Beauty History is where we dive into the life, the legacy, and the importance of a different person in the fashion or beauty world. And the new episode is coming out this Friday, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, this is it. This is all I have for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.